If you guys want to see the DeWalt XR go head to head with the DeWalt Atomic when it comes to a 5 inch lag bolt, a 6 inch construction interior fastener screw, as well as a 4 inch lag bolt, stick around. You're not going to want to miss how the DeWalt XR performs compared to the DeWalt Atomic. Just a friendly reminder, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to the channel. My name's Chris. Today we're talking DeWalt Atomic versus DeWalt XR. You can see we have two models here and they're priced very differently. For the DeWalt Atomic, which happens to come with two batteries, and if you look here, you can see that is a 1.5 amp hour battery. A lot of online listings actually have that listed as a 1.3 amp hour battery, but this combo kit at Home Depot it ranges anywhere in price from 129 to 159 and you can see that the tool is equally sized but actually slightly larger in width but a little bit shorter in length. The DeWalt XR is priced a little bit higher at $199. You do get a 5 amp hour battery with that. It happens to be made in the USA with global materials for those that matter and well it is a little bit lighter than the DeWalt Atomic but not by much. We got the 1.5 amp hour battery on the DeWalt Atomic. There you can see it weighs roughly 2.93 pounds. And when we have the DeWalt XR with the same 1.5 amp hour battery, you can see that it's actually coming in at less weight at 2.84 pounds. You can see all those specifications listed here on the screen. But how does that translate when it comes to a six inch general construction interior fastener? We'll run it against the DeWalt Atomic, which is said to have 2,800 RPMs. And we'll run it on speed two for the DeWalt XR, which also has 2,800 RPMs. We'll then go ahead and switch the DeWalt XR to speed three, which is said to have 3,200 RPMs against the DeWalt Atomic at 2,800 RPMs. So when it came to looking at the six inch general construction fastener, the DeWalt XR on speed two was very comparable to the DeWalt Atomic. However, when you put the DeWalt XR on speed three, it's like you hit the turbo button and the DeWalt Atomic just can't keep up. Now let's see how these two compare to other impact drivers like the Hart tools, the Bauer from Harbor Freight, as well as the Cobalt XTR. So let's head on over to our next test, which is a five inch lag bolt. Now this is gonna test not only that RPM, but the max torque. So the max torque on the DeWalt XR is said to have 1,825 inch pounds of torque versus the DeWalt Atomic with 1,700 inch pounds. So very comparable, but the XTR definitely has a little bit more power. Let's see how that compares when putting in that five inch lag bolt. So in fact, the DeWalt XR was faster and provided a little bit more power. But at the end of the day, are you really running 10 of these in consecutively? Does the amount of time that it took for the Atomic to finish really matter that much? Well, that question's up to you. Let's move on over to the four inch lag bolt and see how these go into hard white oak and see if there's a big difference at how they perform.
So when it came to the four inch lag screw in hard white oak, hands down, no questions asked, the DeWalt XR was more powerful. But again, I'm gonna ask you, does it really matter? How many of these in a row are you gonna put in? And are you able to wait just a little bit longer to have the DeWalt Atomic finish? We're gonna put these head to head with the speed bore and see if it still holds true. And it just happens to be the case that the DeWalt XR continues in every single test to outperform speed, torque, you name it, it's outperforming the DeWalt Atomic. Now let's go to the battery performance test where we will take battery voltage measurements and then insert 50 drywall screws into a Southern Yellow Pine 2x4. We will take battery measurements after we're done inserting all 50 screws, and then we will go ahead and remove all 50 drywall screws. Once we finish, we will take final battery measurements and see if the DeWalt XR at 400 watts of output consumption truly consumes more energy than the DeWalt Atomic, which states 300 watts of output. So when we looked at the battery performance test, it was really interesting to see that the DeWalt XR actually consumed slightly less power than the DeWalt Atomic. It really looked like the DeWalt XR was probably about 30% more efficient than the DeWalt Atomic, which actually was a real surprise to me. Now, battery results might always differ. You know, it depends on how fast you're putting the screws in versus not. But honestly, I try to be really consistent, and the DeWalt XR just typically outperforms the DeWalt Atomic. So what are my final thoughts on the DeWalt Atomic compared to the DeWalt XR? Well, if you like the DeWalt brand, but you don't wanna spend the most amount of money and you don't need all the bells and whistles and all the performance out there, the DeWalt Atomic isn't that bad of a deal. The 1.5 amp hour batteries that these come with really should get corrected on the Home Depot website. And the 1.5 amp hour battery, while it isn't perfect and it doesn't have a battery light indicator, it does work. It should be able to get most jobs done but if you need the most amount of performance, you want a battery indicator and just an all around really high end, really great tool compares to the Milwaukee Fuel Gen 3, as well as the Cobalt XTR and a few other high end construction grade tools out there. The DeWalt XR is definitely gonna be what you need if you need peak and optimal performance. Really, it's like getting a turbo button there when it's on speed three that's a $70 option, but you also do get that bigger battery compared to the DeWalt Atomic. And they are decent tools. I do really like the tri-lights on the front of these. And you're really gonna have to decide which tool is best for you and what kind of tasks and jobs you need and if you need all the bells and whistles. If you have any experience with these tools, go ahead and comment down below. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Maybe you're not a DeWalt fan and you like to see other videos with the Harbor Freight Bauer the Ryobi One Compact Impact, or the Cobalt XTR, go ahead and click up above in the cards as well as down below in the description. And as always guys, work smarter, not harder, and we'll catch you in the next video. Just a friendly reminder, go ahead and hit that subscribe button.